Welcome everybody. Um, it's great to see you. Um, I am here to give you the Department of Medicine Chair April update. And it's great to see that the weather is starting to perk up. Uh, we're starting to experience some nice spring weather. Um, and just on a personal note, I just got back from uh, a part of the country where I got to see the uh, full solar eclipse. It was very inspiring and felt like uh, it was a really auspicious way to begin the spring. So let's uh, check in on a few items today. Well, first of all, it's really exciting, as you all know, to see that we have four candidates that we've been interviewing. And by the time you see this, I think we'll have actually interviewed uh, all of the four uh, chair candidates for the Department of Medicine. And so I want to remind you all, uh, if you can, to really uh, get in to watch um, the town halls in the live sessions because they're not being recorded. Um, and so hopefully you got a chance to do that. But the other thing that's really important is for you to fill out surveys on your thoughts about the candidates. Uh, Dean Lin uh, Vice Dean Linda Boxer has assured me that she's reading every single one of those. And it's really important that the members of the Department of Medicine really get their voices heard about their thoughts on each of the candidates. Your voice really matters around that area. So. It's really good to see that we're making progress on the search. So we um, will be hearing more about these four candidates. And at some point, we hope to see um, uh, one or more of them in person uh, later in the year. So making uh, great progress and, and again, hope to hear your comments. But the other piece of news that I think is really exciting for this year, and I want to thank all of our education teams, including Ron Watellis and Pedro Fede and um, others, uh, for match day. We had a remarkable match day in March, matching 59 interns of, FWIM, of whom 36 were categorical interns, two were global health track interns, one was a medicine anesthesia intern. The only one that matched in the country in that area came to Stanford. In addition, we have 20 neurology anesthesia interns who will spend their first year with us. Now, a few statistics about our incoming interns. Nearly half, 46%, already hold an advanced degree. And in addition to PhDs and master's degree, we actually have one JD joining us this year. 15% of our new interns uh, will uh, come from backgrounds that are traditionally underrepresented in medicine. In addition, we have one of the largest physician scientist programs in the country with our TIP program, our Translational Investigator Pathway. The, this is an important part of our commitment to training the next generation of physician scientists, and we matched seven new interns into the TIP program, so we're very proud of that. I want to thank um, all of you who played a role in recruiting these interns to our residency program. It's no secret that we did well because of the efforts of all of the people who were committed to this, um, really receiving 2,500 applications, interviewing 359 of these people, um, and a special thanks to our core interviewers who are the faculty who committed to signing up for at least half of the interview slots for the season. So lots of people to thank here. Um, I can't name them all today, but you know who you are. And uh, please know that Ron would tell us and all of the uh, program directors are very excited um, with the results that we saw this year. Um, and in closing, I just want to mention that we are still uh, actively searching for a new DFA um, for the department, and uh, we will get be getting updates on the candidates to come. We hope that there will be candidates to be interviewed by division managers and other senior finance people, as well as division chiefs and others uh, in the coming month or so. So next month, I should have another update for you about that. So in summary, a uh, lot's going on, of course, in the spring. Um, but mostly all good news so far. I think the chair search is active, the DFA search is active. We did great with the interns uh, for next year. Um, and I wanna thank you all for, again, for your efforts in uh, keeping our tripartite mission of excellence in clini clinical work, teaching and research um, active and live and well. So um, have a great April and I'll see you again uh, next month. Thanks so much. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.